Hello, Mixed Nut Cases. This is Nuke Joss and this is dinner. Hello, Mixed Nut Cases and Dog Days of Podcasting listeners. Sorry, this is Nuke Joss and this is Dinner in a Movie. And tonight I'm going to be talking about the direct to Amazon Prime movie Jackpot. Now, I saw trailers for this last week and it looked so stupid and like utter trash. And I have been looking forward to it because not only does it look super trashy, but it was starring Aquafina and John Cena. And you know, I like the schlock. (laughs) I like the over the top comedy, the, the unbelievable stuff. I like bad movies, you know, and I was looking forward to some trash and you know what? It was better than I thought it would be. Okay. It's an action movie. It's got a lot of cartoon violence. So like if you like cartoon violence, like Baby's Day Out and, um, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, Three Stooges. I couldn't think of their names all of a sudden, like Larry, Moe and Curly. Uh, You like you like that kind of thing. Unrealistic stuff. Yeah, that's that's what we're talking about here. Like there's a whole bunch of stuff. That's not how that works. That's not how that works. But it's okay because it is stupid and it knows it's stupid and it is a ridiculous premise. So this is in the near future. There is a grand lottery that was established only in California. And the catch is uh, if you win the lottery, every other lotto ticket holder legally can claim your lotto winnings, your jackpot, by murdering you. And that it's completely legal. But if you make it to sundown, you get to keep it. Been going on for, I don't know what they said, like a few years, uh, almost five years. And it's a thing. It's a crazy, wacko, off-the-wall stuff. And in the near future, you know, there was a uh, another Great Depression and everything's inflated and everybody wants you to pay for everything. So it's a very money driven society, but it's not too unlike our own. And in this movie, you've got Aquafina as somebody who has essentially been living in, under a rock and had no idea of this and accidentally puts her thumbprint on this lotto ticket, not realizing that she just purchased a lotto ticket and then became the winner. And then everybody's trying to kill her. Uh, John Cena's character is somebody who his job is to protect lotto winners for 10% of their winnings, which he gives away. And there's all sorts of story stuff there. And as we go through, we learn that there's another lotto protection firm headed by Simu Liu. And it is so over the top, so silly. I loved it. It it is not a great movie. I'm going to tell you that it is not a great movie, but I enjoyed myself and it was exactly what I needed at the end of a Friday. Just 100% what I needed right now. Um, It's been a long week. I am pretty overworked. It is my birthday on Sunday. And it is Melissa, the Bathtub Mermaid's birthday tomorrow. So I'm going to say it now. Happy birthday, Melissa. I hope that you have a good birthday. I hope that you treat yourself. I wish I could celebrate with you, but I will in my own way. It is our birthday weekend. And we often get to share this. Well, often every year we get to share that our birthdays being a day apart. So um, yeah, Uh, My plans are uh, we are going to go to the movies tomorrow and um, on Sunday, a group of friends and I, we're going to get sushi at a new place. Well, not a new place, a new to new to me place that looks kind of trendy, kind of cool. So we're going to check that out. And then, um, yeah, so so I'm looking forward to that. and then it's back to work, unfortunately. But and then I'm going to be traveling now. Normally, I don't talk about well when I'm traveling on the podcast or socials. But y'all, tech is still here. Uh, my house is not empty. Tech is still here. I uh, I travel um, for work, and my house is fully occupied. 
So I'm not being unsafe there. Um, but uh, yeah, so I got a big travel uh, trip coming up. Uh, I leave Wednesday. Oy, it's right around the corner. Um, but yeah, so I got a big project done tonight or mostly done. I just have to write the documentation for it. Um, but I got a big chunk of it done tonight and got a big chunk of stuff for next week done. And I have worked way too many hours this week, which I will flex in the fall. And, uh, yeah, so I needed something stupid. I needed something really stupid. And when you're stressed, the stupider, the better. You don't want to have to think. So is this for everyone? No. But if you like stupid stuff, if you like um, cartoonish violence, um, over the top wrestler style acting, it might be for you. Also, there's a lot of celebrities I will say, because not all of them are actors, but there are a lot of people in this that are 100% okay with not taking themselves too seriously and poking fun at themselves. And I do love that. Um, it is definitely one of these movies where as you watch the credits, you see all the different takes. So they just kept doing different jokes and trying to see which ones land the best. And I think that that works in the, this movie making, you know, and you, you go through and you try a bunch of different jokes and they'll they'll cut out the ones that work and keep the ones that do. And then the actors just tend to have a lot more chemistry and you you can feel for them more. And I, I do appreciate that. So in this dystopian future, um, I don't know. It was fun laughs. It was silly. It was over the top. I'm in. Uh, and we are going to pair this with a gigantic grill and steak that uh, Tech made. Uh, baked potato and veggies because mm -mm, veggies. Uh, I have been eating a lot of veggies lately because I've been making these veggie salads for my lunch because I can just put them in a mason jar and dump them out. And I'm so afraid that I'm going to get bored with them, but I'm not. I've been really enjoying my veggies. So... Let's hope this continues. Uh, also, I have I bought oyster mushrooms this week, and I've always kind of wanted to experiment with them. And I've grilled them up, which, by the way, I totally get how people say, oh, it's a great meat replacement. I mean, it doesn't taste like meat, but like if you're making a chicken dish and you chop up oyster um, mushrooms and you cook it the same way that you would cook the chicken, like in a nice marinade, it's going to serve the same purpose in, in flavor and texture. Um, but just raw, they're so good. They have this nice, sweet flavor to them. Um, I was intimidated by them. Now I'm like, oh, I got to get more of these. So I need to, I need to spread my wings on the mushrooms. Um, yeah, I love mushrooms. So trying to find different ones and variety is always cool. Um, where was I going? I am all over the place tonight, but yeah, so veggies, I have not gotten sick of them so far. Tech made a delicious meat sauce with pasta yesterday. And so today when I made my veggies, you know, I just dumped them in a bowl. I threw the meat sauce in the microwave for like three minutes, threw that on top. Ooh, so good. So no, I am not going vegetarian because I am still putting meat on my veggies. I am the kind of person that goes and orders a vegan option. <laughs> And then adds bacon. <laughs> that's that's the kind of person I am. I like veggies and being able to just keep eating them. I'm I don't feel like I'm getting tired because it's not a veggie. It's many veggies. <laughs> so um, yeah, so that's what we're pairing this with: a steak, potatoes, and lots of veggies. Veggies are good for you, just like helmets. By the way, watch this movie. That's a message. Protect your head. Helmets are good. <laughs> Nutty Bites is produced by Nimless Studios under a Creative Commons Attribution No Commercial Non-Derivatives 3.0 International License. That means you can't change it without my permission. You can share it and send it to your friends. Just link back to me, my site, and everything. We live at nimlas.org, which has links to everything social media, including facebook.com slash group slash Nutty Bites and patreon.com slash nukejoss or call 347-Nutty42.